River State Police Command on the search for officers where kidnappers been carried for River State. NLC State Chairman go meet on Tuesday on top minimum wage matter. An Obonge government now don't set up committee to tackle hate speech for inside the country. And for inside business, Nigeria don't collect $3 billion loan from World Bank. Good afternoon and this now as it take happen on top Wazobia Max TV. My name now Adati Omunke. For inside the first story where we say they my hand here, that's a suspected serial killer where we say don't they keep plenty girls for inside the river state. As the matter be so, they don't carry them go courts for inside Port Harcourt. And for inside the next story for today, the River State Police Command now talks to them go work well to make sure say the kidnappers where be say some uh, the people where be say some kidnappers can't carry say they go release and sharply sharply. These now two policemen plus including one boat operator where kidnappers been can't carry two weeks ago. These three people where be say the kidnappers been carry then be they travel on top boat for Ungo River for. And only local government area of River State when these kidnappers been con carry them. The police say uh, walk away be said and carry. It just they doing normal patrol work when this bad nesting been happened since seventh of this month. Wazobia Max TV to person will be Emmanuel Longka. He don't follow the matter since and he will join us live from Port Harcourt. Emmanuel. Good morning. Okay, Shapali tell us how Potter got there today and the police where they handle this matter of kidnap. How the thing they be for that side? I say. Waiting, they happen for portal court, and the police will be say they handle this matter now. How did they handle the matter? They go. Okay, right now the police. Last time we talked to them, they said they do everything when be possible to ensure say these people when kidnap this policeman plus boat driver. Say they ensure say they bring them to book and they ensure say they, they rescue the boat driver and the two policemen on hot. Um, but the family members when they for Port Harcourt, they, they from this kidnappers then. This will not be the first time when we say kidnappers don't attack it on top of this Ongo River. For this Andoni area for River State. The last time we get three Lebanese, maybe they carry for that area, but they can't release them after a very long time. Okay. As it be now, we so hear see you. And I can hear you. Okay. We hear say you they in touch with the family members, a uh, victim. Then it, the kidnappers will carry them. They don't make any demand yet about how much they will pay to release those people. Okay, um, right now, if they hear rumors say the, the kidnappers don't they reach the police, they don't be in touch with them, they find out if um, they will pay any money or ransom. But officially from the police, we never hear any uh, statement regarding kidnap or any uh, contact with the kidnappers. So we still wait for updates officially from the police for that matter. The rumors there everywhere say the kidnappers don't reach out to the police, they demand some certain amount of money. Okay. Okay, Tawana Emmanuel, our Tory person from Port Harcourt, and he gave us reports about the kidnap where we say it just happened for inside there. And now Nana go take us enter our next story for today. Now from one kidnap case to another one. The Assistant Commissioner for Police will be Musa Rabo, where we say kidnap has been carried for weekend. We hear say now say they don't release them. Reports talk say they release Ogarabo on Sunday evening as a team of police people from Kaduna, Ninja, and Zone 7 command headquarters for inside Abuja with backup from members of elite special force of a Nigeria police force, Bingo Rescue Am. 
And there has to be so then still arrest two suspects where we say they get hand for inside this crime. And for inside one talk paper where the talk talk person of the force, Oga Frank Mbab in Caricom, he talks say this officer been the travel as he no wear in normal police uniform. He carry in private moto and he no carry any escort or any special security. Frank Mbasti he answer as the team be so say this kidnappers no target this Oga because of saying be police. But they just kidnap and the way we be say that they kidnap normal people. And as it already be, they talk say police, they touch light the matter. And we come up from inside that we enter another one. As said, the Association of Local Government and the Vice Chairman for Nigeria, don't call now as it be so. Say, I be made and do different, different things to address the matter of insecurity way there for the country. The association, they make this call for inside one talk paper ahead of their national security summit where it will happen for inside Abuja. And the title of this summit now, Effective Local Government Administration as a panacea to insecurity. Then talks in now to bring out a solution to address matter of security for inside the country. And the talk paper still and say part of the activities of the summit. Now say them go honor people where be say they don't do plenty better things to make sure of peace for inside the country. And we shall probably enter the next story for today. We President, President Muhammad Dubari, they, we hear he say they come out from Abuja today to attend the three days Russia-African summit for inside Sochi for Russia for October 23rd, go reach October 25. For inside the, the summit, President Buhari go meet with Vladimir, Vladimir Putin of Russia to hear matter of security, grow trade and investment, plus including build partnership, we go help Nigeria big gas potential as Russia gets better success for gas exportation. The summit as, as it be so, they toss in an African head of states go come out to bring different, different talk on some global matter, there are plenty challenges and there are plenty things where the BC they will take solve many many problems where they face their country. We hear say nuclear technology, energy development, digital transformation, environment, technical security, mining and steel, education, agriculture, infrastructure, plus including development strategies. Nahin Dengu Yan about. And as it be so, we hear say uh, Governor Muhammad Inu Wayahaya of Gombe State. Governor Bello Matawale of Zamfara State and Governor Kayo Defiemi of Ekiti State. Now all of them go follow with Presido, do this worker. We come up from inside that one, enter for inside by Yelsa State. That one they happen for inside politics. As Bayelsa State Governor now, Siriaki Dixon, talks they get better confidence. Say PDP go win the governorship election will go happen next month. Governor Dixon, where BC, they answer many questions, where to read people, they ask them for inside Abuja. He talks about Bayelsa now one of the most peaceful states where they for Nigeria. And he can talk as he be so saying governments go work well with the people where BC then get marked for inside the state to make sure of peaceful, free and fair election for November 16. In consider they talk, they beg I neck, and the politicians them still I beg, may them follow the rules. Make we hear as in TikTok. All back home, to all politicians and parties, to all institutions of government, particularly the INEC and the security agencies, is that all hands must literally be on deck. We have had very unfortunate instances where in elections, you see unnecessary violence and carnage and brigandage, maiming and displacement of people in Bayelsa. You have IDPs. You guys don't know about that or you don't talk much about it. There are people, innocent, peaceful women and children and people who were chased away by militia bodies supported by some security agencies and some political actors who claim to have federal support and cover. Who know they cannot win any election if they were to rely on votes of people? And that is the situation in some communities, and those concerns have always been raised and will continue to be raised. So we call for free, fair, credible, and above all else, peaceful governorship elections. I call. And at this one, I go lead us to the next story for today. The Chief Judge of Okogi State, Justice Nasir Ajana, as he be so, you don't swear in Chief uh, 
Chief Edward Onoja as the Deputy Governor of Kogi State after the status of Assembly being removed former Deputy Governor Simon Achuba. We will bring you more Tori about this one for Inside Our 8 o'clock Tori. We shall probably come out from inside the story and enter the next one. As passengers now where BC they follow the Minasule, their highway don't come out again, they complain, they cry plenty about the bad state of road for that area. Then they tell Obonge government to sharply answer them, may they come repair all the road as they talk say this road na better death trap na it be. Then especially they call, say make the, them sharply come put eye for the work where BC they happen for Mina Shashanga to Leja Road for inside Ninja State. As a young gift to re people, sake of the road, them talk say the bad condition of the road, they affect the economy. As students no fit go school, plus including work herself, no fit go work, or even if they want go, they go go late. It then talks say even other activities too, where be say people they use the road go do, say this badness road, they stop all those plenty activities. As they yarn about this, the bad state of the road, Chief Press Secretary to Niger State Governor will be Mary Noel Bergy. She talks, say the government know the rest at all at all, sake of say they want to provide a better road for them to use. As it be so in the talk, say Governor Bubakar Sanibello don't already meet security agents then, plus including officials of tanker and truck drivers to bring solution to the problem. And for inside the next story, this one, our official uh, report where we say we never really confirm as they talk, say, for inside Anambara State, say one container don't fall and as it fall, it can trap two people for there. They say this one being they happen for, did they happen for inside the Onicha Oweri Road. And this one, they come two days after two petrol tanker fire being catch fire for inside Onicha. We shall probably come up from this story, enter another one we carry come today. State Chairman of Nigeria Labour Congress on Tuesday, they said they go meet for Enugu to discuss different ways where BC them go use yarn, take off the adjustment of the new minimum wage with different state governments. This meeting they come after organized labor and federal government don't conclude their talk. The chairman of the Quara State uh, NLC, Isa Ori, weigh on this one for inside interview on Sunday. He talks that the meeting will bring out guidelines them for better negotiation of the adjustment for different states. And as he be, the Enugu State NLC chairman too, Virginius Mobodo, he confirmed the meeting for the interview. And still on top labor matter, civil servants now don't come out. They talk different, different things about the agreement where BC federal government and organized labor don't reach on top the minimum wage matter. The agreement where BC government and labor being get late on Wednesday, now you can't make them suspend the strike. And as it be so, some civil servants, they happy, say they suspend strike. Why some others, they fear, as they vex, they talk, say, it be like, say, they are the leadership of organized labor, no day for their side again. Our Tory person will be John Emmanuel, now will complete the story. The civil servants with the jump up, they thank Baba Gode for the suspension of the strike. Say, it go bad, make Nigeria enter strike for this period, where the economy of the country, they very, very bad. I feel very, very happy at the strike, the call of the strike. One, not because of uh, really the, the agreement between Labour and the federal government, but because of uh, Nigerian economy. Actually, I'm so happy that um, such strike is averted. I use that word because the truth is that it will have a lot of effect, directly and indirectly, to the lives of the common people. The calling off of the strike is a welcome development. And as a civil servant myself, I'm very much uh, satisfied with that. Those who can talk say the suspension of the strike, no sweet their belay at all at all, say the agreement where the leadership of labor go enter with federal government for the meeting where they hold yesterday, not be waiting then send them to do be that. According to them, they for let Nigerian workers go into the strike so that federal government could know how to take labor matter serious next time. That the strike did not take place for me, it's um, I'm I'm you know I'm not happy, to be frank. Both the federal government and the labor union and every other stakeholders involved in this project 
should be sincere to Nigerians. But telling people to re from level 7 to level 11, I think they renegotiated whether it's 20, how many percent, you know, 29 percent or thereabout. You know, at the upper level it's 23 percent and then at the highest level it's about 19 percent or, or thereabout that they renegotiated. No, that is, that is a recipe for disaster in the future. You get, in developed times, once, you know, like in the U.S., you know, you see different states have different minimum wage structure. You understand? And when it gets to two years, I think they review it about every two, two years and all that. Nobody will come and, um, um, and want to book it out with the government or negotiate with the National Assembly. It just, it just transits, you know, automatically. Even as these civil servants, the true blow they give each other over whether the suspicion of the strike, they good or they bad, they come later shake their hands, join mouth together, come they advise federal government on what them go do so that Nigerian workers go they happy with them and this issue of strike no go they come up again. Just like started with those at the lower cadre, they should also match their work with, uh, with actions. I think that is the best thing to do for now. Government is for the people. So anything people demand for the government to do for them, government should be able to follow it up. We cannot have injustice in the welfare situation in Nigeria. You see, the problem is this. The same market those people are going, the people earning 170, 180, the same market they are going, the same market guys earning 50 something thousand two are going. So you have destruction in the system, in the economy system, and nobody seems to be taking this thing serious. You know, it's, it's, it's one of the greatest injustices we have in this country. You go to a particular university, you're a graduate, the other person goes to a particular university, you finish in the same year, the person gets a job in the federal government, you get a job in the federal government, but your pay, there's disparity in your payment. We lack too much of, of shortcuts, you know, as far as the government in Nigeria is concerned. Okay, you have implemented and have passed into law a 30,000 um, naira uh, minimum wage across board. So why are you renegotiating again, you know, telling labor, please, can you give us, can you... Make it 10 percent. Can you make it 15 percent and all that? You know, where senators, it was it was appropriated in this budget, 120 something billion. You know, and a statutory transfers to to the entire national assembly, which which comprises of about how many hundred people? You know, so for me, this renegotiation. You know, although the labor um, um, leaders have agreed, you know, again we should we should we should question the labor leaders in one way or the other because you know they will make reassuring noises all the time, and, and then you know the government would take them in, in, inside closed doors and they would be doing their horse trading and all that. One way or the other, these people will compromise at the end of the day. We go remember say yesterday, federal government and labor enter one long meeting, and after the long journey in Jaka, where don't they take place for long, them come finally set down can't agree on how they will carry pay the new minimum wage. This now John Emmanuel for Wazubia Max TV. And for inside the next story, Minister of Information and Culture, Ogalai Mohamed, he come out now on the talk say they don't set up committee where we say then go put implement the one where we say we pre, the sense talk where we presido being give being approved on top how to fight matter of hate speech and fake news. The minister been yarn this one for the meeting with online publishers for Lagos on Sunday. He yarn say this matter of hate speech and fake news. You see now these two things now bad twins them be. And so no better government go sit down, fold their hand, they watch me all these kind of things they fly for inside the country. Oga Mohamed see and say as be so see NBC day on their own and say government no put mouth on top of the one where B say they won't charge any media organization where B say come out now they promote they promote hate speech and say the normal, uh, they, they, they don't charge them 5 million naira from the 500,000 naira where BC did they charge them before. He answered that one, say MBCD on their own, and say government know they put hand for all those kind of things. And as it be so, authorities for inside the canoe zoo now don't come out to come the talk, say they don't catch that lawyer where BC been escaped from their zoo. As the matter be, the, the managing director of Kano Zoo will be Alaji Seyidu Gwadebe. Now he confirm this one gift to we people on Sunday morning. As he answer when they be catch the before they catch the lion, say then give him injection to sleep. As the matter still be, then talk say the lion don't chop plenty goat and plenty ostrich before they fit catch him. And we they come back with business story, make you no go anywhere. <music> And for inside the business, 
Obonge government now don't collect $3 billion loan from World Bank. And as Imatabi, Minister of Finance, Mrs. Zainab Ahmed, he announced the approval of the loan for the for news conference where them use end the World Bank IMF annual meeting for inside Washington, D.C. She explained talks say the loan will improve power supply for the country. And she see and say they go as the loan be, they go pay four times give Nigeria. That one will come reach like $750 million each beginning from April 2020. And for inside the next business story, government now don't tell MTN Nigeria and other mobile operators them. They may then suspend the four Naira charge per 20 second for the use of unstructured supplementary service data. That one now USSD access to banking service. The Minister of Communication, Dr. Issa Pantami, now you carry this one come on Sunday after one Twitter user will be Mustafa Hadi being tweeted to make Oga Pantami act on top of this one. An MTN don't send message give customers say from October 21st, 2019, four Naira nine then go the charge for 20 seconds as the, for the USSD access banking service. And we shall probably come back with sports story, make you no go anywhere. And for inside the spot, Lobby Stars and Super Eagles B striker Sirikti Kiru Almini he scored two goals for the match where B said they play with Hawks of Togo for the Agege Stadium with the for Lagos on Saturday. But as it matter be, they no come to score more goals for the Chan 2020 qualifying second leg match, sake of the luck where B say no shine for them for there. The Eagles been lose their first leg for Lume and they then be need to score more goals and to even win the match where B say suppose help them qualify for the Chan 2020 final. And as a matter be so they toss it this one now for be better opportunity where they for use invite Alimi come get not raw main team. And now all the Tory business as it take happen on top of Azubia Max TV. But before we go, make we look all our top to read them again. River State Police Command now done the search for the officer where BC kidnappers been carried for rivers. And the NLC State Chairman go meet on Tuesday on top minimum wage matter. Obonge government now don't set up better committee to tackle matter of hate speech for inside the country. And for inside business, Nigeria don't collect $3 billion loan from World Bank. Auditorial to take happen with this on top was Zobia Max TV. My name now Adate Ompe. On a good afternoon. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.